let the dead bury the dead. Was he saying it wasn't important to bury your father? No, he wasn't saying that. He said, listen, I don't want just the first part of your life. I want every part of your life. So as I am priority and taking your whole heart, then I need to be the part that deals with every area of your life. Listen, you want to be a good worker? Amen. Put God first. You want to be a good husband? Put God first. You want to be a good parent? Put God first. You want to be a good child? Put God first. It all comes when we put the love of God first above everything else. And then He shows us how to love. I think marriage counseling and seminars are good. But it will never do any of us any good until we love God and put God first. You can counsel yourself on what? But anything outside of God will not work. And so this Valentine's Day, I want us to be focused on love. In every area of our life. God says this, and I'm closing that clock, I forgot to put my Oh, I'm late. I'm closing up the clock. God says this, that we are to love the Lord thy God with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind, and with all my strength. And then we are to love our neighbor as ourselves. When we live by the principles of love, it will change us. Listen, I don't know any of your own situations. I'm not out to point a finger at anyone. It's not how I work. But how I do work is to bring God in and the love of God in. That every year of our life I can be complete and full of joy and without fear. Would you stand with me this morning? All around the sanctuary. Listen to me for a few moments and I want you to make a commitment before God will ever say. Sister Tina, the Buddhists say this. The Buddhists say that life is constantly moving and changing. And the one thing that we need in life is love. And love will constantly move and change. Although I don't agree with Buddhists in general, but I've been as I do agree with what they say. Life is full of change. It's, for lack of a better word, it evolves. Look at yourself. Look at your life. Look at where you're at. It moves. It changes. And so the necessary thing is that we allow the love of God to encompass us in all the changes of life. You love it? He says... Let us love one another. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth knoweth God. If you are struggling with a love of relationships, I want to challenge you that as well. Put God first. You will change every relationship you have. God wants us to have healthy relationships. But it only starts when we know the agape love of God. If you don't know God, you don't know agape love. Would you write where you are by your head? Would you say, God, I want to make you in a deeper, in a more powerful way? I want to know your love that will change every area of my life. Yes. Jesus.
Would you commit to an act out? This Valentine's Day, I'm not worried about the ooey gooey feeling. For everyone in my core Valley Church to feel although that's a nice feeling. I hope it's part of it. What I pray you feel most of all is a commitment to loving God and loving others. Brother David, would you close us in prayer? Lord Jesus, we are so overwhelmed by your great love, and then that while we were yet sinners, you died for us, that you became the propitiation of our sins. You were the appeasement of a holy wrath of God for our sins, rather than us making an appeasement, or making atonement for your righteous and holy wrath and displeasure towards sin. Yet you became the object of the Father's wrath and sin. You bore in your body our sins upon the tree. We thank you. There's no greater love than that. Help us to live in that love, to receive your love. Help us to love others as you love them. We pray that you will give us, Holy Spirit, the heart of Jesus. A heart that sees the world as lost and dying and separate from God. And help us to be the ministers of reconciliation. 